It was a historic funeral mass in Vatican City this morning. Tens of thousands of people were there for a final farewell to Pope Benedict XVI. Joining us now is former CBS3 anchor Pat Chiraki. She's been covering the funeral with us all morning long. And Pat, you've been covering the uh, Vatican for mm -hmm. years. Yeah. What is your perspective as far as uh, covering the Vatican and, and all the events surrounding it? I mean, there's, there's a lot of history involved. Yeah, there, there's a lot of history. It impacts the lives of so many people who follow the, who are, who are part of the, the Catholic faith, um, and sometimes challenged by that, and sometimes embracing it completely. Um, there, when John Paul II's uh, papacy was a 25-year papacy, mm -hmm. we're really accustomed to his dynamism. And he was here in Philadelphia twice, second time as pope. Um, I remember him so energetic and you know running, running up into the altar, and then you, we watched him fail. Over the course of the years, because of his Parkinson's, and and we also watched him suffer, but still lead. Uh, and then you had after him, Pope Benedict, Benedict a real different type of personality. So, you know, cu culturally German, um, a little bit more reserved in his manner. But from what I understand from those who really got to know him well, uh, and who worked with him, he was kind. He was very caring. He was very generous. Mm. And it was unprecedented when he stepped down. He chose yes. to retire. And of course, uh, Pope Francis succeeded him. I think it was just so touching today to see Pope Francis mm -hmm. bless his coffin yes. one final time. A person who he considered to be a friend. Yes, it, it was. And his friend, his neighbor. And there, was, there was uncertainty in the very beginning of this, Janelle. They weren't sure how it would be perceived. Two popes together not on the job at the Vatican, mm -hmm. but living within the Vatican walls. And even with uh, Pope Benedict wearing white, he had chosen to be called Pope Emeritus. Uh, but Francis was also generous and said, you know what, he is my brother. And he also said, he's opened the door for other popes to resign so if they feel that they can't carry on. Well, let me ask you, I mean, right now, Pope Francis is not exactly in the best of health. I mean, we can see that he's mm -hmm. declining, not as much as John Paul was. Oh, no, uh, no. John Paul had a whole yes. systemic issue. Um, yeah. Do you think he'll retire or resign? Well, it, it's really hard to say. Um, but even though he's, Francis is 85, that was the same age as Benedict mm -hmm. when he had chosen to resign. Uh, I had an opportunity on a quick phone call with Father Michael Romano, mm -hmm. the the priest who we interviewed in the first half hour, and I asked him that, and he said, you know, he very well may, but not anytime soon. Mm -hmm. And he remembers a quote, and he reminded me of this, where he said that the Pope said, I don't run the Catholic Church with my knees, maybe on my knees, but not with my knees. I run it with my mind. Hmm. And I would imagine that he would also say, with my soul and with my heart. So today he uh, commended Benedict to back to the home of the Father. You know, you can, this is uh, Pope Francis coming onto the altar this morning. This was at about 9.23 Rome time. And this is when the funeral mass actually starts, when the, uh, the presider, the celebrant of the mass, appears on the altar. That's when the funeral begins. And this funeral was only about an hour and a half. It was very short by Catholic but, standards. Well, <laughs> Trust me, I, I know myself. By Vatican standards yeah, yeah, in uh -huh. particular, yeah. Uh, but also, um, if you compare it to John Paul, John Paul's funeral was three hours long. But Benedict wanted simplicity. You know, he had a, he had a humility uh, about him, and he, he lived that. He lived that in a way that was very evident to those who surrounded him. And you can see here, too, with um, Pope Francis in the red vestments of a papal funeral. Mm -hmm. Well, Pat, we appreciate it. You've added so much insight to the broadcast, not only this morning, but also at 9 o'clock. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's my pleasure. And also, visiting. let me just say this. Congratulations on beginning your 20th oh, year. Oh, yes. Thank yes, you. Here congratulations. At Maybe Pope Francis will send yeah. me a blessing. You know, we'll, we'll keep uh, on going. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you, you so Pat. much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you all.